Hallelujah, yeah, oh God. Father, we we surrender to you. We surrender this service to you, Lord. We ask you to take preeminence. We ask you to be glorified in the entire program. We pray, O oh God, that you minister to us in a special way today. We pray for every vessel that you will use today that God you will use them in a mighty way even right now in this teaching session take over Lord take over Holy Spirit you are the teacher in the name of Jesus thank you for each and every one of us Thank you for those that are on the way. And thank you because you are blessing us today. Thank you because of the new insights for this day. Thank you because of wisdom. We pray that you supply to us this wisdom and insight. May your mercy be upon us. In your mercy, help us to find grace in the name of Jesus. We love you, Lord. And in the name of Jesus, we pray and we say, Amen. Amen. Makofi mazuri kwa yesu. Amen. Help me appreciate uh, the worship team. Yes. Yes. Some good clap. Some good clap. Amen. Amen. We are blessed this morning to see another day. We are in the month of January 2023. I know in writing it might be posing a challenge. You find yourself having written 2022. <laughs> uh, but I believe we are catching up. And soon, soon, and very soon, it will be registered in our minds. I want to thank God for every one of you. And especially I want to thank God for mom and dad For obeying the call and bringing our coming this far in ministry And offering us avenues to serve this is an avenue I have today and I'm grateful mom and dad yes I thank every one of you that has already come and I welcome us to the teaching this morning. I believe just like the name teaching we shall be taught this morning. And so uh, we are in the month of uh, embracing excellence embracing excellence and uh, we want to know how we can embrace excellence and uh, this morning the topic is embracing the enablers of excellence. When you hear embracing, it means uh, whatever we, we need to embrace, it can bypass also. 
Unaposikia neno kumbatia kile ambacho tunakumbatia kinaweza pia kutuponyoka. So we need to learn how to embrace it. Kwa hivyo tutasaidi kujifundisha njinzi ya kukumbatia. And so we are talking about embracing the enablers. Na hivyo basi naongea kuhusu kukumbatia vile vitu vinavyosaidia. There is a line of operation E, katika e, laini ya utendaji wa kazi there is one that will he, enable you live in excellence this year kuna kitu ambacho kitakusaidia kukaa katika ubora mwakani huu and so it is important we study into this matter na hivyo basi ni vyema ili tukasome jambo hili so that we shall resound this year the visions with excellence ili tukaweze kurejelea yale maono katika mwaka huu kwa ubora uh, we have like three points ni kama tuko na point tatu and the one we are going to get it from genesis 45:20 na ya kwanza utaipata katika kitabu cha mwanzo 45 mstari wa 20 we shall read and then we shall give the statement tutasoma na basi tutaweza kutoa yale maelezo eh uh, ha huh. There is a verse that came before. I don't know whether it was HC something. Yes. Look at this. Ebu tazama hiyo. Do not concern yourselves with your goods. For the best of all the land of Egypt is yours. Wala msi visumbukie viyombo vienu. Maana mema ya inji yote ya misiri ni yenu. Amplified says do not worry. E, amplified inasema kwamba na usiwe na shaka. Do not look with regret or concern upon your goods. E, usitazame e, 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 mali yako kwa majuto ama kujali. For the best of all the land of Egypt is yours. Kwa sababu kile bora zaidi cha nchi ya Misri basi ni chako. Let me try to explain where we are the context. Wacha basi niweze kuelezea ule muktadha ambao tuko ndani yake. Here the, the 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 brothers of Joseph. Hapa ndugu zake Yusuf have been sent to get their father. Wametumwa waende wakamchukue baba yao and the children pamoja na watoto to bring them to Egypt wawalete e, misri and there is a communication they have na kuna mawasiliano ambao wa they are told when you get there wanaambiwa na mtakapofika pale tell those people tell your father tell the children there basi uambie baba yenu uambie wale watoto pale tell your wives waambie wake zenu i know there are things that have been good for you Najua kuna mambo ambayo yamekuwa mema kwenu. Kuna vitu vimekuwa vizuri kwa kwenu. There has been good things to you. And now where you are going you might not need to carry everything you have there. Na hivyo basi pale ambapo mnaenda si lazima mbebe kila kitu ambacho mko nacho. Because there you have the best. Kwa sababu kule mna kile bora. There is excellence where you are going. Kuna ubora pale ambapo. And so you need to you don't need to carry everything. Na hivyo basi hamna haja ya kubeba kila kitu. Do not look with regret. Hata msionekane kuwa na majuto. And so point number one is know what you must leave behind na hivyo basi point ya kwanza ni kwamba jua kile ambacho utakiacha nyuma know what you must leave behind to, to pursue your excellence ujue kile ambacho utaacha ili ukaweze kufuata ubora wako you need to take stock wasaili kufanya uchunguzi you need to take stock wasaili kufanya hesabu matters health E, mambo kuhusu afya matters career mambo kuhusu e, kazi in the in the seven areas that we were given katika zile sehemu saba ambazo tulipewa i assure us nina uhakikishia there are things we need to leave kuna vitu ambavyo tuwasaili kuviacha bwana yesu asifiwe there is a way of operation we need to live. Kuna njia ya utendaji kazi ambao tunastahili kuiacha. If we shall pursue the best. Kama basi tutatafuta kile bora. In that particular area. Katika hiyo sehemu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. You know I, I read about uh, the prodigal son. Unajua nikasoma kuhusu yule mwana the prodigal son. Yes. 
you know for him to come back ili kwake arudi he had to swallow some pride alikuwa kwanza achane na maringo au majivuno mengine Luke 15:17 let, let us read, read Luke, this together Luke 15 mstari wa 17 we want to know there are things we should leave Tusaili kujua kwamba kuna vitu ambavyo tusaili kuviacha Possibly they fitted us before Labda watu walitulisha hapo awali They were good there, there are some good things but not the best Eh kuna eh, vitu ambavyo ni bora lakini sio vile bora zaidi Look at this Angalia hapo uh, just NIV NIV When he came to his senses he said How many of my fathers I had men have food to spare and here I am starving to death Alipozingatia moyoni mwake alisema ni watumishi wangapi wa baba yangu wanaokula chakula na kusaza na mimi hapa ninakufa kwa njaa 18 Stari wa 18 I will set out and go back to my father and say to him father I have sinned against heaven and against you. Nitaondoka nitakwenda kwa baba yangu na kumwambia baba nimekosa juu ya mbingu na mbele yako. I want to tell you. Nataka kuambia. This statement is not easy. Maneno haya si rahisi. Having carried everything that falls uh, that is in your that is your portion. Baada ya kubeba kila kitu ambacho ni sehemu yako. Your inheritance. Hata urithi wako. You have squandered. Na umearibu. And now someone is struggling and they want to make another decision. Na sasa hapa mtu anangangana nasumbuka na anataka kufanya uamuzi mwingine. Are you aware there are so many people that are struggling? Mmewejua kwamba kuna watu wengi ambao wanasumbuka and they don't want to admit na hawataki kukubali that things are not right ya kwamba mambo yaendi sawa so they wanajikaza so they, they encourage themselves in something in a, in a road that they know they are wrong katika jambo katika barabara ambao wanajua ya kwamba wao wako katika makosa i will set out mimi nitaondoka i will tell you now what what he has decided to forego sasa nitakuambia kile ambacho ameamua kukiacha. You know for us to pursue excellence there are certain things we forego. Unajua kwetu ili tufuate ubora basi kuna vi, baadhi ya vitu ambavyo tutaviacha. Even when we say uh, the best it means there was good, there was better. Hata, and then there is the best. Hata tunaposema ubora tunajua kuna kile ambacho ni chema ni kizuri na tena pia kuna kile bora zaidi. And we are talking about the best. Na sisi tunaongea kuhusu kile ambacho ni bora zaidi. We must leave behind the good and the better. Lazima tuache kile kizuri na kile ambacho ni afadhali. For us to embrace the best. Wetu ili tukakumbatie kile bora zaidi. Verse 19. Sari wa 19. I am no longer worth it. He knows. Sister Hili na yeye anafahamu. You know it is good to know the unajua situation. Ni, unajua ni vizuri kuwa. I am hati. no longer worth it to be called your son. Kwamba mimi sitastahili kuitwa mwana wako. My father. Baba yangu. Just make me like one of your hired men. Nifanye tu kama mmoja wa watumishi wako. And I will just I know I will love all the meals I need. Na najua kwamba nitapata vile vyakula vyote ambavyo nitahitaji. 20 Sari wa 20. She, so he got up and went to his father. Basi akaondoka uh, akaenda kwa baba yake. This is the point. Sasa point ya muhimu ndio hii. He swallowed his pride. Yeye aliachana na maringo yake. He just decided something that not many people decide on. Alifanya kuamua kuhusu jambo ambalo watu wengi hawezi wakaamua. When we look at the areas of excellence that we were given. Tunapoangalia zile sehemu za za ubora ambazo tulipewa. There are things we know in this area. Kuna vitu ambavyo tunajua ya kwamba katika sehemu hii. This is not the best. Hii sio ile bora kabisa that I need to pursue. Lakini nahitaji kuitafuta. This is not the best. Hii sio ile bora that i need to the, the, this is not the best way to do 
the way uh, I'm, I've been doing it. This is not the best approach. But you know there are people who are used to me there. <laughs> and I don't want to change because I want to preserve them some pride. I, I need to be the same. Uh, they, need to, they need to see the familiar face that they know. There are things to leave behind this year. For us to pursue the best. Amen. Why is Lot's wife looking back? Genesis chapter 19. Verse 26. Lord's wife was looking back. It means there were former attachments. It means she had certain memories of Sodom. And she could not just uh, wish it away. Even after the angel of the Lord pulling them out. And instructing them. Do not look back. She disobeyed even. Because of former attachments. May every strength of former attachments that is making you not to move forward be broken over your life in Jesus' name. Some people disobey because of, of, of some former attachments. Remember, obedience is one of the things we need to up our gear this year in. Amen. 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 He who puts his hands on the plow and looks back is not fit. May this not be us this year. May we look forward. May we pursue our best. May we live the good and the better. And may we look ahead to the best. Just help me tell your friend something about that point. Tell them pursue the best. Amen. Amen. Just tell them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> live the better, live the good. Amen. I want to bring point number two. For us to embrace the best. Uh, point number two, I say, embrace a fear of God that is above what the world fears. And this is in Exodus chapter one. Na hii napatekana eh, kutoka sura ya kwanza. Verse 17. Sari wa Point number two. Point ya pili. We are learning. Tunasoma. Embrace a fear of God. Basi kumbatia kumcha mungu. You know, fear of God, the level of fear of God that we get into. Kiwango cha kumcha mungu ambacho tunaingia ndani yake. Is a decision even after we get the revelation. Ni wamuzi ata baada ya kupokea ufunuo. And people are in, the, in different levels of the fear of God. And if it is not at the point of embracing excellence, someone loses out. Loses out. 
mtu pale anapoteza fear of god can make us to embrace excellence kumcha mungu basi kunaweza kutufanya tukakumbatia ubora but the level the high, the very high level lakini katika kiwango cha juu look at these uh, ladies here ebu angalia wanawake hapa the midwives however feared god and they did not do wale wakunga basi wakamcha mungu lakini hawakuzingatia what the king of egypt had told them to do yale mfalme wa misri alikuwa amewaambia wafanye this is a level of fear of god hiki ni kiwango cha kumcha mungu a level that they could defy a very serious authority kiwango ambapo wagegairi mamlaka ya juu defying herod defying pharaoh that is pharaoh was a very serious a very serious move ugairi mfalme wa misri ambaye ni farao ilikuwa ni kugairi uwezo ulio and it happened because of fear of god na ilifanyika kwa sababu ya kumcha mungu they feared god to the level that Pharaoh could not threaten them to the point of disobedience. Walimcha Mungu kwa kiwango ambapo Pharaoh hangewatishia hata maisha yao. Not the director. Eh si yule mkurugenzi. The director is a small guy in this case. Unajua mkurugenzi ni mtu mdogo katika kesi hii. Not the not the regional commander. Eh si yule amrejeshi wa eneo. This is the apex of the authority the king who ni upeo wa juu sana wa mamlaka they could not do what the king is saying wangefanya vile mfalme aliwaagiza because of the fear of god kwa sababu ya kumcha may this be our level of fear of god na hii kawe ni kiwango chetu cha and you know this level of fear of god you don't say openly face to face that you will not do what that authority is telling you na unajua katika hiki kiwango cha kumcha mungu au semi au semi tu wazi ya kwamba ufanyi vile yale mamlaka yanakuagiza kufanya this level of the you know talking to the king kiwango hiki cha kuongea na mfalme you don't tell the king directly that you will not do it au muambii mfalme moja kwa moja ya kwamba hutafanya Now this level of submission requires kiwango hiki cha onyekevu kinaitaji You behave as if you are in the in the plan Huwe na tabia kama umo ndani ya mpangilio But when you go back to the house Lakini unaporudi kule nyumbani Like I read and I got a new revelation here Kama nilisoma nikapata ufunuo mpya These ladies could not show face to face that they are not going to do what the pharaoh is saying wanawake hawa wangeonyesha kwa uso ya kwamba hawatafanya vile mfalme pharaoh alikuwa but when they went to the house lakini waliporudi katika nyumba they nipa. believed god for a way out walimwamini mungu kwa njia ya kuponyoka and it is in verse 18 na ni mstari wa 18 look at what they did angalia vile walisema then the king of egypt summoned them and asked them why have you done this why have you let the boys live basi mfalme wa misri akawaita wale wazalisha na kuwauliza kwa nini kufanya jambo hili kuwahifadhi watoto waume wawe ha 19 this is the plan mstari wa 19 sasa mpango uko pale the midwives answered Hebrew women are not like Egyptian women. They are vigorous and they give birth before we arrive. Wazalisha wakamwambia Farao ni kwamba sababu hao wanawake wa Kiebrania sio kama wanawake wa Kimisri kwa kuwa ni hodari hao na huzaa kabla mzalisha hajapata kuwafikilia. In excellence you have to get a plan katika ubora lazima upate mpango the plan that god gave these women was to arrive late mpango ambao mungu aliwapatia like wanawake ulikuwa ni kufika haujashika hiyo haujashika hiyo hujashika hiyo the plan was when they went back to the house because they cannot tell farao we are not going what do, to do what you're saying mpango waliporudi kule nyumbani kwa sababu hawezi wakamwambia farao atutafanya vile ulituagiza farao the plan was ar- arrive a little bit 
late. Pharaoh said when they are giving birth, kill them. Kill those children. And when they prayed, God gave them a plan. Arrive a little bit late. And when Pharaoh asked, of course, they might even have been few for the work. <laughs> <laughs> they had a perfect answer. We can defy any, any serious uh, affront that is brought against us. We can defy the wrong move being, being brought our way. Because of the fear of God. I loved the one for Daniel. Daniel 1.18. One Daniel 1.8. Daniel 1.8. I read in verse 10. The king had given a certain man powers. Nikasoma ya kwamba mfalme alikuwa memupa mtu moja mamlaka And they told him and ensure this amount of food and the drinks are taken to those young men Na kumwangiza kwamba akisha kwamba chakula hicho basi kingepelekewa hao And in verse 10 we read that the, this man said if I don't give you this food you are calling evil Na msari wa kumi unasema huyo uh, mtu akasema kwamba the king would have my head off. You, you are asking, you are asking for something that is very hard for me to do. The king can take my head off. And God gave Daniel some wisdom. And that, this is how he did it. He went to, the, to that man, he told him, kindly allow us 10 days. You know, we are learning how we can use fear of God. Many people are cowed by people. Even uh, people that are in high ranks and authority, they do the wrong things. They don't pursue excellence. Because they are being threatened. And now we are learning how it is done. How to do it the right way. The man who is supposed to lose his head if Daniel does not eat that food. Daniel tells him. Daniel Only, only ten days. Give us this kind of food. Vegetables. Yeah. And, and examine us before anybody looks at us. Just examine us. Here Daniel does it by seeking permission. Daniel And God came into the matter. You know, fear of God is what makes him to makes Daniel to make that decision. Just make that decision. Out of the fear of God. Make that decision. When he sought that permission because of the fear of God, the hand of God was on him. It is even in verse 12. And that is because of the hand of God. Daniel and his friends will behave vizuri on vegetables. As in vegetables worked wonders for them. Amen. Amen. Are there threats you are fearing? 
Are there certain big men and big women somewhere you are fearing? Are there scary names you are fearing? Even in health, there are people when they hear cancer. Hata katika afya kuna watu wanaposikia saratani. They can't believe for healing. Hawezi wakaamini kwa uponyaji. Just because it is cancer. Ni kwa sababu tu ni saratani. I prayed for a certain lady. Nikamwambia mwanamke mmoja. And, and the, the, the issue was she was a, a spell was thrown on her. Na jambo kwamba ni kwamba matamshi tamko ilitamkwa juu yake. A witch some witchcraft. E, uchawi ulitumwa kwake. And they she began the body began behaving in a certain way there was some inflammation kulikuwa na kuugua uvimbe uvimbe and because also the entire uh, body health went deteriorating na kwa sababu afya yake ya mwili basi ikaanza kushuka they went and they removed a certain part of the body wakaenda, in the hospital wakaenda wakatoa kipande kidogo tu uh, cha mwili wake kule hospitali and they wanted to test whether it is cancer na walikuwa nataka kujaria kuta, kutafuta kujua kama ni cancer and uh, when i went there we prayed na nilipoenda pale basi tuliomba we just prayed tuliomba tu and the lady was saying the fear is if that test is positive for cancer na, she dies hofu ilikuwa kwamba huyo mwanamke alikuwa anasema kama basi hiyo <coughs> test itakuwa saratani basi alikuwa anajua yeye atafariki so we prayed against all that basi tukaombe kinyume na mambo hayo and yoko. some days after some days the results came na baada ya siku kadhaa basi matokeo yakaa when the results came it was negative matokeo yalipokuja alikuwa negative she even got very well and went home hata aliendelea kuwa aliendelea vizuri na akaenda nyumbani we cannot fear any everything just like every other normal man Atuwezi tukaogopa kila kitu kingine tu kama mtu We wakua. cannot fear what the world fears. Atuwezi tukaogopa kile dunia ulimwengu. Isaiah 8:12. Isaiah 8 mstari wa 12 and 13. Na mstari wa 13. It says we don't fear what others fear. Inasema kwamba atuogopi kile wengine wanaogopa. Do not call conspiracy everything these people call conspiracy. Do not fear what they fear. Us Do not dread it. Hata usiogope kile au watu wanaogopa. 13. Mstari wa 13. You know we, we can't fear what others are fearing. Hatuwezi tukaogopa kile watu wengine We have a fear of God. Look at this. Sisi tuko na kumcha Mungu. The Lord Almighty is the one you are to regard as holy. He is the one you are to fear. I was looking for this one. He is the one you are to dread. Bwana wa majeshi ndiye mtakayemtakasa na awe yeye hofu yenu na awe yeye utisho wenu. May the Lord be your fear. Bwana Mungu hawa mkamche. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. May the Lord be the one that you fear above every other fear. Na Bwana Mungu akawe ndiye ndiye unamcha kuliko E, kumcha kitu e, yule mtu mwingine. Amen. Amen. We are talking about, about embracing the fear of God. Tunaongea kuhusu kukumbatia kumcha Mungu. Amen. Amen. I want to bring the third one and, uh, and I will be done. Nataka kuleta ile ya tatu na nitakuwa namaliza. I'm told you cannot preach everything. <laughs> Nikaambiwa uwezi kuhubiri. And I'm blessed by that. Na nimebarikiwa na hiyo. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Number three ya tatu we need to you know those these are some of, some of the habits sasa hizi ndizo baadhi ya tabia for excellence that we need za ubora ambazo tunazihitaji learn to concentrate over certain things in their time jifundishe kumakinika juu ya mambo fulani kwa wakati wake concentrate over things in their time makinika juu ya vitu ama mambo kwa wakati wake watu wanasema uh, mambo ni mengi <laughs> people say there are a lot of issues <laughs> mambo ni mengi issues are masaa ni machache and the hours are few. my bible tells me biblia yangu inaniambia ecclesiastic 3:1 <laughs> e muhubiri 3 mstari wa kwanza there is a time for everything kuna wakati wa kila jambo and there is a season 
for every activity under heaven na kuna majira ya kila kazi chini ya mbingu is a time kuna wakati for everything wa kila kitu na you know we we relate this to young people for everyone unajua tunahusisha hii kwa na kwa kila mtu for everyone kwa kila mtu if there is an art that is lost in our time because of a lot of distractions kama kuna ujuzi fulani ambao umepotea umepotezwa kwa sababu ya ukosefu wa umakinifu wakati wetu in our time katika wakati the enemy has been fighting concentration adui amekuwa kipigana na umakinifu and we have to we have to be very deliberate na tutakuwa eh, Uh, very uh, deliberate tuamue eh kuwa watu wa kufanya uamuzi in fact one of the things i understood this year this this week is that watu wa imani umaanisha vitu eh baadhi ya vitu ambavyo nimejifundisha katika juma hili ni watu watu wa imani people of faith wanafanya mambo kwa kumaanisha they do things a lot of their things i got that statement this week I, watu wa imani watu wa imani umaanisha vitu they usually uh, uh, tu wana, uh, wana makinika you know tukisema tuinue mkono mikono tuabudu tunamaanisha let me use some kiswahili here tukisema uh, we we want to give tunamaanisha We want to do this tunamaanisha watu wa imani humaanisha Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen. James 1 verse 7 inasema whoever that is double minded I think it is James 1:6 uh, whoever that is double minded Yakobo 1:6 Biblia inasema yote ambayo uko na nia mbili they can't receive anything from god hawezi wakopokea kitu kutoka kwa mungu in our time katika wakati wetu with our phone e kwa simu with uh, people around us tukiwa na watu ambao wanazunguka all those things pamoja na hiyo vitu vyote it yote. can be an avenue not to concentrate inaweza kuwa ni njia ya kukosa umakinifu and so i'm challenging us this year na hivyo basi nawatia changamoto katika mwaka huu watu wa imani ni kumaanisha people of faith is to concentrate ah, ah silas and paul were praying he were praying and singing hymns sila na paulo walikuwa naimba nyimbo za sifa and the other prisoners were listening and watching you know they <laughs> fungwa wengine walikuwa nasikiliza tu na kuwatazama it was another distraction ilikuwa kitu kingine cha kuwapeleka kando lakini watu wa imani wakimaanisha wacha nikwambie kukaingia radi kukaingia kitu kwa gereza vitu zikavunjika bwana yesu asifiwe other prisoners were listening and watching as 1625 wale wafungwa wengine walikuwa nasikiliza tu na kutazama this year katika mwaka I challenge us ninawatia changamoto let us concentrate on things wacheni tumakinike kwa vitu you know i was looking at the way we do service nilikuwa natazama vile tunafanya ibada just thinking and i, I realized we you know someone is on the mic others are on the mic you know there are there are instruments you know there are so many things if you open your mouth and keep watch or rather your eyes and keep watching You have a lot of things to watch. Kuna vitu vingi nafanywa hapa na hivyo basi ukisimama tu na utazame utapata vitu vingi vya kutazama. Even there is another sound that will come. Hata sauti nyingine inaingilia hapa. And then you stop worshiping. Na unaacha kuamua. You start checking. Oh, where is that? Unaanza kuchunguza utafuta hiyo kelele inatoka wapi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. And that's why Mary and Martha in Luke 10. Na hii ndio sababu ya katika Luka 10 there is a certain contrast that we get from that scripture there kuna eh, ukinzani wa aina fulani ambao tunaopata katika mstari ule Luke 10:38 and 42 that is 42 Luka 10 uh, mstari wa 42 the bible says mother was distracted with a lot of serving Biblia eh, nasema mother alikuwa ameshughulisha na utumishi mwingi distracted by all the preparations alikuwa ameingiwa na kutumika kwote he was distracted by doing the good things alikuwa ameshikwa sana na kufanya kazi and he didn't know in verse 42 
mstari wa 42 only one thing tukimoja tu ah only one thing jambo moja tu only one thing jambo moja tu when jesus is there only one thing wakati yesu yupo when bishop is speaking only one thing wakati askofu anahubiri jambo moja tu when we are singing only one thing kiwa tunaimba basi jambo moja tu when we are in the regional life group only one thing tukiwa katika makanisa nyumbani jambo moja tu nlt says only one thing is worth getting concerned about jambo moja tu ndilo limfanya ahusike kwalo only one thing jambo moja tu I, just tell someone only one thing mwambie mtu jambo moja tu during your day every every activity of, it is just requires only one thing during your day there are so many things you do but every one of the activities you need to concentrate on it katika shughuli zako zote kwa siku basi kuna jambo moja tu ambalo wastahili kumakinika kwayo as in on in your programs katika mipangilio yako you decide this is the time for this uamue kaya kwamba huni wakati for this is the activity for this eh hii ndio kazi nitafanya kwa hii let me tell you you will see excellence niwaambieni kweli kwamba mtapata ubora bwana yesu asifiwe amen only one jambo moja tu The law of a, the law of concentration states that you can now write this is the law makinifu inaeleza kwamba The law of concentration states that Sheria ya umakinifu ueleza kwamba Whatever you dwell upon chochote ambacho una kanda ni acho grows and increases in your life kinakuwa na kuongezeka katika maisha yako whatever you dwell upon chochote ambacho una makinika ndani grows kinakuwa and in increases na kinaongezeka in your life katika maisha yako if you decide i want to pray for five minutes ukiamua ya kwamba utaomba kwa dakika tano you even close your eyes because other things can take you off track hata utafunga macho yako kwa sababu vitu vingine vitakuelekeza macho yako you pray and pray and pray and you realize it is past 6 minutes taomba na uombe na ombe na baadaye utambua ya kwamba hata dakika sita zimeisha amen amen one thing jambo moja at a time kwa wakati wake one thing kitu kimoja at a time kwa wakati this year katika mwaka huu you can improve on it unaweza kuiboresha you can arise 30 minutes earlier this year unaweza kufika hata dakika 30 you can set your alarms 30 minutes before unaweza kuweka ile alamu yako dakika 30 you can set your target time some minutes before unaweza kuweka ule zile ile target yako dakika kabla ya wakati wako you can decide to be writing to do lists every day or in a week unaweza kuamua kuweka orodha maandishi katika kila juma i i had a time i was writing and times i did not write and i tell you times that i was writing i was more organized niwaambie kuna wakati kuwa naandika lakini wakati ambao nilikuwa naandika ndio nilikuwa na mpangilio and i could concentrate on certain things and finish na ninge makinika kuhusu mambo fulani na kuyamaliza i love the way that does it na ipenapenda vile when, when that, it that is time like to do something he does it amalizane nayo <laughs> eh ukiwa ni wakati wa kufanya jambo analifanye ili umalizane nayo we can copy this Tunawe- instead of staying for a week and saying i wanted to i was to i was to and the week bila kusema nilikuwa nifanye hii na unakaa juma linaishi basi unaanza kujuta ukisema hata ningefanya hivi na vile we can apply the law of concentration tunaweza kutumia sheria ya umakinifu this was our teaching kindly let's be upstanding haya alikuwa mafundisho basi tafadhali tukaweze kusimama and allow me to pray for us basi mniruhusu nikawaombe i want you to open your mouth even before i finish the prayer i finish with prayer open your mouth and tell god to help you fear god ningependa ufungue kinywa chako na basi umulize mungu akusaidie ili akusaidie upate kumcha yeye tell him to help you with the law to apply the law of concentration muulize akusaidie ili wakatumie sheria ya umakinifu in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu we can be different this year tunaweza kuwa na utofauti mwakani huu baba kwa jina la yesu kristo tunashukuru umetenda maajabu miaka iliyopita tumekuona 
na mwaka huu ambao tunaongelea kuhusu kurejelea maono yetu kupata ubora ama kupitia kwa ubora tunaomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo mambo matatu haya tumesoma asubuhi ya leo tusaidie tukayafanyishe kazi the law of concentration the way we should leave some things na tuangazie zale bora tuache yale ya kawaida hata kama yamekuwa mazuri hata kama yamekuwa yakifurahikiwa na wengine bwana tunaomba leo hii attitude ingie ndani ya kila mmoja wetu tuanze kuangazia vitu kwa ubora katika jina la Yesu Kristo tukaingiwe na roho ya kumcha Bwana tukafanye mambo ambayo ni ya kumcha Bwana hata kama kuna maadui walio juu yetu wana wa, ambao wako na mpangilio tofauti tupe neema tupe hekima na tupe kuongozwa na wewe kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kusema you are blessed let's have uh, Amen. Tumpigie, tumpigie makofi pasta. We can appreciate him.